Where should we go? I'll take you on. in space.
just one problem after another. strange. Here they come! Here they come! Uh-oh. Not good. 
these guys were no challenge at all. everywhere in this place. big is this place? This is. space. Here they come. Entering battle, everyone. Yeah! 
Get done. I have mixed feelings about fighting robots. Here they come! Here they come! Entering battle, everyone! <laughs> challenge at all. How big is this place? Man, not these guys.
We've got you cornered, Jupus Tuki. You can't run from us! Ah, awfully persistent, aren't you? No sweat, though. I might just have a little trump card here. Here's Johnny! Quite the trump card, all right. <laughs> forewarned is forearmed! It's showtime! I won't go easy on you! We're talking a million volts of pure power! Here we go, Johnny! Where'd this robot come from? Ah, this guy's really getting on my nerves! I'm sensing a strong barrier! Uh-oh. Not good. Whew. This is never gonna work! <laughs> like it? It's my landmark invention! A barrier system using time-space energy! Your feeble girly man attacks have absolutely no effect on it! Damn! Jaster! Dr. Picaccio? What? Dr. Picaccio? I'm very impressed, Jupus. Your research into space-time energy has come a long way. But the time has come for you to step back. But that can't be! Excellent! It worked! Jaster! There you go. Use it just like I showed you. Thanks. That's our Dr. Picaccio. Thank you so much. Ah! Using new 
new weapons? That's not fair! this jester oh you are so naive i still have an ace up my sleeve johnny switch into super deluxe mode Take care of this once and for all! You think turning red will help? That's it, Lizard. I'm gonna drag you out of that thing. Watch out! This one is more powerful than it looks!
You certainly didn't make it easy for us. I'm sure you'll understand if you let me explain. Huh. It's a little too late for that. <laughs> Come on, just hear what I have to say. It's a hard story to tell and a hard one to hear. You'll probably think I'm so pitiful. <laughs> Fine. Out with it. Ah, don't rush me. Anyway, I work for Daytron, or did before I was fired. I was the lead researcher on time-space energy. Know anything about that? It's a theory about an unlimited energy source that can solve the galaxy's resource problems. For us researchers, it's like a never-ending romance. I was one step closer to a breakthrough. Good morning. So, Jupus, you've been up all night working too? Yeah, you too? We'll need a full week of sleep to make up for all this. <sighs> oh, I'm fine. I'm just happy to have this opportunity to work with the Chief. Huh? Jupus, is this what I think it is? Hmm, pretty soon, pretty soon. I just need to solve this equation and it'll be complete. So we're almost finished. The truths of the universe are about to be laid bare. Uh. 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 With this data, becoming the ruler of the universe is no longer just a dream. My data was destroyed. That's when Datron fired me. I see. So it was your assistant, Tony, who caused the accident. And now you're trying to get them to hire you back? No, not at all. This is revenge. That accident was all part of Datron's plan. They wanted that data all to themselves. They got Tony to play his role in bringing me down. You've got to believe me. Oh! I knew I could count on the Desert Claw, but I still can't believe you caught Jupus this quickly. All right, Jupus Tuki McConnell, you're coming with us. You have a Daytron inquest to attend. Oh, so now you're going to take me to court, huh? Forget it, I'm not standing for any fake trial. If you come clean now, we can lighten your punishment. No way! You want the death penalty, and I don't want to die! All I wanted to do was recover all of my research! So, this means... I guess I have no choice! I can't see! That rat! Over there! I won't let you catch me! Adios, amigos! <laughs> that guy is unbelievable. He has nowhere to run. I've dispatched soldiers to all likely locations. It's only a matter of time before we get him. Phew. So that's that, then. Dr. Picacho, if you wouldn't mind, could you please restart the mainframe for us? Of course. Please, come to my office. Hmm. Everything should be fine now. It seems that Jupus has not lost his pride as a scientist after all. The mainframe computer hasn't been harmed one bit. I see. That's excellent news, Doctor. We owe it all to you, Desert Claw. Sure. 
Now, about that reward. Let's see. How would you feel if I gave you this Picacho factory? Huh? You mean you're going to use my factory again? What's going on, Star? You've had plenty of time to rest by now, Doctor. I think it's time to forget about the past and return to your work. Don't you agree? <sighs> well? With a facility like this, he'd be able to produce all kinds of items. It'd be much better than some lousy reward money. What do you say, Mr. Rogue? All right. We'll take the factory. So, you really want to use my factory? I see. Then I'll bring it back up to speed as soon as possible, so that you will be able to utilize it. It's a deal, Dr. Picacho! I'm so happy! Steve. You seem to be doing very well, Steve. You have good friends by your side, and you look happy. I'm relieved to know you're doing so well. By the way, can I ask you a small favor? Would you mind contacting me once in a while to tell me about the things you see and do on your journey through the galaxy? The things I see and do? Well, of course. But why? Oh, well, it's nothing, really. It's just that... I don't know. I, I've been pretty lonely lately. Is that all? All right. I'll definitely keep in touch with you and tell you all about our adventures, then. Oh, really? How excellent. I'm so glad. Thank you, Steve. It's no trouble at all. Well, then, it's time for you to go. Until we meet again. Yes, Doctor. Thank you for waiting. We sure took the long way around, but the Galaxy Corporation should be back online now. Let's go see. Time's a charm. Let's get this renewed. They solved the problem with that terrorist, and the mainframe's back up and running. I'm ready to process your requests now. Oh, really? This time for sure? This time for sure. I mean, come on, that is my job after all. Duh. This is all we need. Please, can you issue us a new galactic travel visa now? Absolutely. What have you got? ZR-KJ1701, the Dorgan Ark. Looks like the category of this vessel is a free-sailing freighter. All right. And there we go. 
Now you're all set. That's it? That's all it took? Do it fast and do it right. That's the motto of the Galaxy Corporation. We look forward to serving you again. Wait. I have two cards here. What's this? Oh, that's just a little present for me. Member number 78,500 is a bit high, but what can you do? <laughs> Well, aren't you lucky. Thanks for your support! Member number 78,500. Huh. Path, are we? will be an indispensable benefit. This had better be it. No more surprises. This place is nothing but trouble. I wonder how that stupid lizard's doing right about now. We are ready to take off. I am feeling remarkably spry today. is a good-looking ship. I like it, I like it! Hey, what are you doing here? 
I'll be on the most wanted list before long, right? My house is surrounded by soldiers. I have nowhere to hide. So I decided to become a crew member here till things die down. Oh yeah, says who? Says me, that's who? Jupus is a vital part of the Dorganark team. This is good. This is great. <laughs> so he bribed you. Mm, this is so good. You folks are lucky to have me as a friend. It'll be nice working with you. Ow! Hey, what was that for? Hmm. <sighs> it can't hurt to take it easy once in a while. I wish Raoul could see this. How many people are there on this ship? Can't hurt to take it easy once in a while. Hmm? Oh, there you are, Mr. Rogue. Hurry to the bridge. The captain has awakened from his nap. The captain? You mean Dorgan Goa? I get to meet him? In fact, I believe he has specific orders for you. Ah, Desert Claw! Taking orders straight from the boss, huh? Everyone's on the bridge already. You'd better get moving. I wonder if everyone's already gathered. Hey, Jaster. Quite a promotion, huh? I hear this next mission is all yours. Papa's usually not one to trust people. Good for you, Jaster. Good for you? <laughs> Maybe, if you're the real deal. A 
all present and accounted for? My most distinguished pirates, Jorgen Goa, our great and honorable captain, has finally awakened. Company, fall in! <laughs> the captain is on the bridge! I finally get to meet him, Dorgan Goa. Scalawags, how are things? Guess I was out for a little too long this time. Well, can't very well sleep forever. It's time we go out and fulfill my ambition. So, did we ever find the Desert Claw? Yes, he's right here. Didn't you hear me? Where's Desert Claw? Uh, uh, um, right here, sir. Desert Claw is actually just a here. What? <laughs> this kid? You, you, you. This runt ain't the Desert Claw! What? <laughs> but he's got to be just as terribly strong! There's no way! How could we be wrong on this? I know what Desert Claw looks like. And this snot-nosed little whelp don't look like Desert Claw! You tricked us! Good grief! Jaster, is it true? Uh... No, I just... I'm sorry. I meant to come clean sooner or later. Oh my goodness! Uh, what a frightful mess! Tie this imposter up and toss him overboard! Papa, wait! Jester might not be Desert Claw, but he's our friend. Please, Papa, don't punish him. What? Kisala? Why are you sticking up for this scurvy dog? While you were taking a nap, Jaster was a tremendous help to us. A true pirate never forgets his obligations, right? That's right. And Mr. Rogue's strength is for real. Captain, I guarantee without a shadow of a doubt, it'll be good to have Jaster around. We're begging you. Oh, let him stay in the crew, okay? Oh, now you have to pour it on. <clears throat> what a bunch of suckers. Captain! I can't hear myself think! Shut up! Scurvy dogs? Exactly whose ship do you think this is? You bunch of selfish crybabies. Jaster, was it? All right, then. I'll give you another chance. Let's see if you can prove your usefulness. Papa! That's our captain! However, if you screw up, it's curtains for you. You got that, Jester? Yes, sir. I understand. What is it that you'd like me to do, Captain? Hmm. But before that, all your dogs, clean out your ears and listen good. I'm going to tell you of my top secret plans that I've been keeping you in the dark about till now. Really, Captain? Hmm. Well, this should be entertaining. So you're finally going to tell us. It is rather odd not even to tell your crew the reason for their voyage. Come on, Papa! Out with it! My ultimate goal is the legendary lost planet of Eden! Eden? Eden? <laughs> 
Oh, I've heard of that. It's a phantom planet that vanished long ago. Yeah, and they say it holds enough treasure to allow anyone to rule the entire galaxy. Yeah, that's the one. And they say that on that planet, there are people there that live forever. You're not telling me you really believe in all that hogwash, are you? I remember now. Eden suddenly vanished from our galaxy some 10,000 years ago. Supposedly, they were even more advanced than Zerad. It is the utopia spoken of in legends throughout the galaxy. <laughs> you mean that old fairy tale? You can't honestly be serious. Shut up! I'm dead serious. It'll take one hell of a mission to be able to find the path to Eden and actually make it there. And that's why I ordered you to scout out the very best hunters. In other words, we are going to strip Eden bare of all its spoils. The galaxy's foremost treasures will be mine. Monsha! Aye, aye, Captain! Deadlights on the screen, mates! I take it you all know about the Geo Record. It's the galaxy's top adventure log, containing every kind of treasure. According to this, Eden has an undeniable tie to the Great Tablets. Great Tablets? Ancient Tablets. We've been looking for them for ages. I get it now. That's why you've been so obsessed with them. If my intuition is correct, the secret that will open the path to Eden is hidden on the Great Tablets. But before we can get to Eden, we've got to get our hot little hands on those tablets first. According to my sources, a huge ancient tablet was excavated from a mine on Vedan just the other day. I don't know if this is one of the tablets, but it's certainly worth investigating. The mines are controlled by the Zax Morardi family, and they ain't pleasant to deal with. <laughs> Listen up, Jaster. You're going down to Vedan to find out if that tablet is legit. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Succeed, and I'll permit you to stay. Great news, Jester. I was a little nervous for a second there. Huh. You're not getting soft on me, are you? <laughs> Didn't you notice? Something special about him. Of all the warriors I've come across in my life, this is only the second one that's given me this feeling. Is that right? And who was the first guy? Desert Claw, the real one, that is. So this is Vidan. Over 40% of the galaxy's metal ore and minerals are mined here on Vidan. The vast resources available here make it one of the top mining planets. Looks kind of dark. Uh-huh. The sun never rises in this mining sector. This place is also known as the City of Eternal Night. 
pretty romantic, don't you think, Jester? City of Eternal Night. So, where do we start? Well, we'll have to go to the mines if we want to check on this tablet. Most likely they only allow authorized people to enter. We should start off by heading into town and try to find a way into the mines. Dr. Picacho? Dr. Picacho, can you hear me? Yes, the connection is excellent, Steve. And I'm glad to see that you seem to be doing well, too. Of course I am. That's because of your brilliant design, Dr. Picacho. <laughs> so you've learned how to do flattery now, huh? That's quite an accomplishment. Listen, I'd like to make a small adjustment. Do you mind if I take control of your circuits for a while? Not at all. Be my guest. Mark, what's space like? It's fantastic and totally different than I pictured. It's like the stars go on forever and ever. I really have to thank you and Steve. You're welcome. And the great tablet. What's that? It's this really huge treasure. With the great tablet, you can go to this paradise called Eden. So now we're all looking for it. Eden, huh? I wish I could see it in person. I'll tell you all about it. I'm glad. I'm looking forward to that, Mark. Just leave it to me. Gosh, I can't believe how excited I am.
Let's keep this pace up. Don't fall behind, okay? Hope it all goes well. We better collect some information first. is clear. Ah. Sorry, didn't mean to frighten you. Don't worry, I don't bite. My name is Burton. I'm an explorer who came all the way out here to examine the ancient tablets they discovered in the mine. Hold on a second. You're here for that too? Oh, ho! so you know about them. I bet you're here gathering info yourselves as well. In that case, how about we swap data, eh? Um, well, sure, but we don't have much yet. Well, so far, I've managed to learn that the miners hang out in a place called Angela's Bar. I reckon if we go there, we'll be able to find out something. The only thing is, I have no idea where the place is. How about you? Angela's Bar? Huh. There he is! Uh-oh, this isn't good. Wait! Burton! Huh? Hey, you guys! You're in cahoots with that old coot! Huh? What do you guys want? What's going on? Oh, I don't like this. Hey, come on! How did we get involved? Here we go! How dare you defy the Marardi clan? No! Oh! If you know what's good for you, you'll get lost! Uh-oh. Now we've gotten their attention. That old guy mentioned something about Angela's bar. Maybe we can learn a few things if we go there. All right. Let's try to find it. Sounds dangerous. Here they come! 
have to do this. challenge at all. We're not the only ones looking for the Great Tablet, are we? We better collect some information first. Here they come! Think I'm gonna go easy? This is what you get! Jester! That's how you get it done! The Morardi family, huh? Sounds dangerous. them again. Mommy? Is Daddy here? I'm not sure, darling. Well, he might be, but he might not be. Out of the way! Just trip, that's all. Mommy! If Daddy were here, he'd beat up those bad guys. When are we gonna see Daddy? I'm sorry, honey. I'm so sorry for putting you through all this. Your Daddy, he's working really hard to help people, to help the world. I'm sure we'll find him soon. So hang in there, okay? Okay, I'll try, Mommy. I 
wonder how far we've gotten. Better collect some information first. Ego. Oh, drop it, would you? Why can't I drink as much as I want? <sighs> Come on, cut it out. You never used to be like this. What happened to the old Digo, the heroic soldier? Look at you. You're just a shell of your former self. And look at me. Silly enough to fall in love with such a miserable man. Oh, this again. I'm tired of talking about the past. Diego. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. Something to drink? This way. Oh, it's that old guy. <laughs> what was that for? All I did was just ask around about the tablet. Oh, uh, sorry about that. All this secretive sniffing around. Guess you still have no idea. Gale. <laughs> Keep sneaking around. And you'll be putting your life at stake, old man. No, I, I was just... <laughs> Haven't seen you before. <clears throat> Something's fishy. Who are these guys? They are my customers, Gale. And while they're in my bar, you don't get to hassle them. Huh. Look, this is a very important time for our town. Don't do anything that would make anyone suspicious. That goes for you, too, Angela. <sighs> Got a problem with that? No? Good. Just remember, defy Zax Morarty, and you won't survive for very long in this town. So don't try anything stupid. Got that, Angela? And Digo, Got your tail between your legs as usual. All that money you scraped up in the mines, was that just to buy yourself some drinks? You definitely are a loser, Digo. Pathetic. Move. It's fate that has brought us together. Say, big fella, you look like you work at the mine. Is there a secret entrance to that place? Would you be so kind as to show me? Oh. No thanks. I'm not getting involved. Oh, come on. Please. Don't make me tell you again. I won't do it. Oh, 
Oh, I see how it is. You're afraid of that fella. You look pretty tough, but you're really just a wuss, aren't you? What? Whoa, wait a second. Don't get mad. This has been a dream of mine. They found an ancient tablet in a mine on this planet. Its archaeological value is absolutely mind-boggling. I can't die until I've gazed upon that tablet and unlocked its secrets. Come on, can't you help an old archaeologist dream come true? A dream come true. So that's your dream, huh? You bet! Tell me, you got money, old man? <laughs> oh, oh, that's rich. Oh, my. Have faith, good fellow. Money is no object for me. All right. Hey, why don't we go with them, Jester? Oh, so you two want to help as well? Sure. Can we come along? Are you serious? Of course! Of course! All right, then it's settled. The Burton Caravan is off to find the Great Tablet! Then we better leave soon. First, you need an ID card. The item shop downtown should have some black market cards. Gale's got his eye on you, old man. You stay here. We'll get the card for you. Yes, all right. But you know, I will get a little lonely. Oh, don't worry. I'll be happy to keep you company. Ah, yes? That sounds marvelous. Ah, haven't had a drink with a beautiful woman in quite some time. Very well, good luck out there, troops. Oh, and feel free to take your time. Huh? This is.